At the RNC will be a massive undertaking this weekend. Thousands of police officers from across the country will make their way to Milwaukee to assist with security around the Republican National Convention. That includes several agencies from our area. Our Brittany Schmidt spoke to some of those agencies today and joins us now. So what are some of these local agencies we're talking about, Brittany? Yeah, so they're joining 63 different departments from 24 different states that are converging on to Milwaukee. A lot of help. <laughs> yes, 44 agencies in, here in the state. Um, You've got Brown County Sheriff's Office, you've got Appleton PD, you've got Green Bay PD, you've got Gibraltar, all the way up to uh, Superior, you got Manitowoc. So really all agencies kind of in this area will be heading south. And really what we learned is that early on in the planning stages, the Milwaukee PD kind of reached out to all areas saying, hey, what are your specialties? What could you bring to the table to help us out? They kind of submitted that and then they kind of pick and chose who they wanted to help with them. So they'll have really then this group of officers that are headed to Milwaukee from around the state. They'll all have different roles based yeah. on their specialties. Yeah, exactly. So Brown County, they're going down with their multi-jurisdictional mobile field force team. Um, they'll kind of be on standby to deploy to if needed to deal with uh, potentially unlawful protests or assemblies. They're specially trained in using less lethal equipment. Um, a couple of people from our Brown and Outer Gaming Bomb Squad is going to be on the ground there, obviously in a different role. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Green Bay PD, who's sending about 30 people in their public order policing team, which is specialized training to deal with marches and rallies and any crowd events. And then they're sending some people from their Marine unit. So people out on the boats that we sure. talked to a few weeks ago. They've also got some um, motorcycles going to help with the um, dignitaries that'll be coming in and out of the city. So helping escort them around town. Is this something, uh, in, did you get a sense that they're looking forward to or one of those, oh boy, I'll be glad when it's over? <laughs> <laughs> I think a little bit of both because obviously they plan for the worst but hope for the best. Sure. Um, but they also are like, this is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity too, something of this massive scale. I mean, you're talking, you're working with departments all across the United States. Sure. You've got the federal government involved, uh, federal agencies, um, which they get a little bit of here with their multi-jurisdictional. But, you know, and I asked them, this is, a big event, you know, we've got ours draft coming this sure. next April. So are you going to take away some of those things and some debriefs and stuff? And they said, absolutely. We're going to, we're not afraid to basically plagiarize what works for them back here a little closer to home in April. Yes, there will be very different, you know, for the draft. They're not expecting protests or rallies sure. or of that nature. So there's some differences there, but Police work is police work, security is security, and so they hope to be in part of some of those debris, but they'll definitely bring it back and bring back best practices kind of moving forward. And, so. how, and how was this funded again? So this, so it's not out of taxpayer dollars here right. locally. It is a federal grant that they will be reimbursed, and they were very strategic in who they sent because they didn't want to, you know, they wanted to make sure they had enough backfill just in case, you know, sure. security here, safety here is a priority, um, and they were very strategic in who they sent and when they sent them. Thanks for the insight, Brittany. Mm -hmm. we'll still